Nissan Mona Buffet too. So today, let's talk about chips, um, laptop, motherboard chips. You know those small ICs. Let me show you what I have. Okay, here we are. Here I I have some ICs. Uh, you can see a real tech sign there. What about this one? This is a BQ something. Okay, this one is upside down. Okay, it's BQ. BQ normally those are charging chips, and then these two here, they are upside down. I believe one of them is for three point three or five volts. Anyway, guys, I have so many chips to discuss here, but I'll um, I'll take it step by step. I won't rush anything. I'll try to cover many as possible, but if I can't, then no issues guys will i uh, will do another tutorial to expand uh my findings regarding the ic or the chips anyway let's go ahead so guys normally when a chip or an ic it's it's dead uh in some cases it won't be physically bent all right sometimes you do get a physically bent chip or ic i've seen once before but again in most cases in most cases some they are not physically bent they will just be dead within within the in the ic um okay it will be shorted within the ic or otherwise there won't be any shorts there won't be anything no physically damage or no physically bent marks or no shorts on the chip but the chip will be dead it will be gone okay i've seen such a case as well uh you should be careful especially when uh, you are dealing with uh, with ic's because some ic's you won't see a thing there won't be a short physically damage but the chip will be dead so there you have to be to be careful anyway let's continue uh let's open a schematic okay uh let's go to my schematics i have a hard drive here normally what you need to do you need to find a big hard drive where you can store all your information uh here these are all my my data for repairs so what i'll normally do let's go to a schematic i have a folder for schematic and then uh, I separated my folders. I have PDF, I have uh, zip, I have RA. It's all mixed up. Okay, let's go to a PDF. Okay, let's check a Dell this time. Let me open. I'll open any Dell. There's the there you are. We have A5 something. Um, okay, I'll open. I uh, will start with any chip. Just any chip. I'll take any random chip. I want to show you some things that you should take note when you are dealing with ICs. Or oh, right, it's either it's a charging chip or 3.3 volts, 5 volts chip. Can be anything. Uh, what is this? Okay, this is a 3.3 and a 5 volts chip. Let's zoom in. I'm not talking about 3.3, but I'm talking about the chip. The chips. I'll try to explain some some pins. Uh, the meaning of the pins what they mean all those things right okay okay for instance let's start on pin number one on pin number one on pin number one uh, okay it's there it says vsw I don't, uh, I don't know the meaning of that thing but what i know is there there should be what five volts always meaning as soon as you connect a, a charger here on this chip on pin number nine you should have five volts always in order for this chip to work guys i don't know anything about this chip i mean about this pin but i know that there they should be five volts always that's how i diagnose and that's how i fix but i use a common sense okay there again pin number 10 it says we out one why is that one and what does this v out mean okay it's simple guys it means voltage out okay meaning after the chip if all the uh the things the conditions are met 
there on the voltage outs you will have some voltage outs of which i believe uh it should be five volts or uh, i think it should be three volts able voltage out one that's one remember this chip is does two things it does 3.3 does five volts okay this is five volts all right so there on the five volts uh we have we will have on pin number five on pin number five we will uh, okay anyway guys i will continue let me stop there okay all right uh and then we have uh vfb1 this is a voltage feedback so it means after this chip has uh generated the five volts five volts of which is uh five volts fb1 it needs to know how many volts has this chip generated you know why it's because it's needed as a feedback to send a feedback to the chip as you can see it goes straight here and then it goes back to report to a chip saying hey i've generated five volts it means you are doing the right thing five volts it's there as required you understand it's need to know if it does the five volts as it is required or if not then it will stop before uh things get hot or burn out so you need that feedback it should be five volts because this feedback pin number 11 it goes straight here on this dot uh where is it go straight here i think uh, i think uh, it goes straight here 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 this is a feedback need to know whether it's doing a good job or not voltage feedback one then it's uh yeah and then we have trip trip one trip one it's more like enabled as well let's check it's more like enabled uh, but yeah it's just uh three volts and then the uh, resist and then it goes straight to ground there's nothing much about trip but it's more like enable let's move on and then we have power good power good is also called power okay p o k power good power okay it means yeah everything is sharp the power is sharp yeah bo. it means that the five volts is sharp it's just a signal saying uh, it's more like a feedback it says everything is sharp power good one is sharp then enable uh you need enable en1 it means uh hey you turn on the five volts okay and then it's gonna trigger and then it will turn on what the five volts all right always on okay you see where it's coming from able it's coming from those signals coming i believe it should be a startup chip or, or cpu but the signal is coming somewhere 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 telling this machine to to turn on the five volts enable one of which is five volts and then here we have drvh1 it means drive high one okay uh this is a gate i believe this is a gate it's telling those two mosfets responsible for for generating the five volts right it's a drive high uh, drive high yes drive high uh, i believe it's a higher mosfet let me check it should be a higher mosfet drive high it's more like a higher mosfet uh where is coming from where is drive high drive high it tells the higher mosfet oh yeah it's drive high this pin number four is go straight here it's upper gate it's also called ug1 upper gate it's a gate just control those mosfets and then ll1 let me think again what uh, what does this does i can't really tell what does this does but what i can tell you it's uh it's more like a power you know it's it is it's, it's like um it's connecting the two mosfet it's uh sending out the five volts it's just a power thing it's the here uh to give you a tip this would never go wrong because this is just the wire as you can see and then 
it's just a wire let me just be honest with you it's just a wire it's going there to five volts out that's all all right there's nothing special or yeah but you should check this cap pc36 whether it's shorted or not but anyway even if it's shorted uh, it won't be connected to ground there's nothing much here there's nothing much and then pad is ground pin number 33 pin number 17 uh voltage boost uh, there's nothing important there drive low drive low it's it's, it's opposite to drive high drive low it's driving the lower mosfets okay as you can see it's drive there pin number two the lower mosfet remember we have two mosfets the higher and the lower mosfet uh let me zoom out uh you see this mosfet yeah we have two mosfets here generating uh checking the 19 volts and then shoot it to, to, to drown and then go back to 19 and then to drown and then the spikes it's some um, two to five volts that's how the five volts is generated so those two mosfets they are being controlled by the chip uh through drive high drive high and then to drive low okay there we are showing you drive low meaning it's driving the lower mosfets so there's nothing much okay let's move on and then we have uh five volts drive i don't have to explain that it's just straightforward it's drive uh it's voltage as well and five volts drive it is a feedback i think it's uh let me check what it does yeah it's a feedback uh, i did explain the feedbacks oh, and then we have drowned and then we have the drowned again and then uh, we have drive low voltage uh, boost uh, guys that's all even on this side from the uh three volts this side is three volts three volts always three point three volts always as you can see even there it's same thing same principles uh yeah and again guys this is so important enable lto lto is five volts and uh yeah I mean, uh, uh, no, no, no. LVO, it's uh, LTO. It's uh, it's, it's five volts. Uh, you'll get this one. You will get this power, five volts always, easy from this chip. It's not generated from the from those MOSFETs, but you'll have it there. Uh, I don't know how as well, but you should have that five volts always LTO, and the LTO it's being enabled from from here okay one more important thing that you can understand this is the, the v in voltage in this chip itself is receive power okay receive power from pin number six this chip is need power right to operate normally they take five volt let's see this one okay i think it's 19 volts and then that's 19 volts it should be turned into five volts all right let's see let's see let's see there should be some some pull down resistors and some pull up resistors uh oh yeah yeah bo v in should be very careful there some are 19 some are five yeah some are two but it depends on the type of chip okay anyway um that's all guys that's all that's all yeah i'm done with the chips and i told you chips normally they get physically damaged or or oh yeah sometimes okay let's go on, on to this one okay this one is for a ram yeah this one is for a ram is it, is it for a ram uh let me be sure i wanna be sure if this is for a ram but this is 1.1 memory i believe it's for a ram okay guys same thing here let me let me show you it's same rules same principles okay let's zoom in uh let's zoom in let's go deep okay okay pin number okay pin number i think this is pin number five yeah pin number five is coming from the five volts always it's vtt it's got two vtt's it means uh it receive power it's more like v in voltage in this chip is need uh the five volts to operate uh yeah i think this is a uh this is for a ram uh 
RAM consists of one volt, meaning this chip here, it takes uh one it takes five volts and then convert it into one point five volts through the five volts. You have VDT in GND, it's ground and there's a ground sign there. All right, and then we have VX. I don't know what does this mean. I think this is a voltage out going to uh, RAM or something. Yeah, this is a voltage out. As you can see, I'm just using common sense. Uh, and then VDD is coming from 5 volts always, as you can see. Yes. All right, and then ground. This chip is so it's so simple, guys. It's so simple. And the temp. Uh, but temperature is not connected normally the chips if they get hot normally they shut down but today here it is not connected all uh, right a ground all right all right v sense okay okay anyway let's uh let's move on what else I'm just summarizing. Uh, okay, let's zoom in this one, the smaller chip there. Okay, we have uh, here we have VCCA. I don't know what it means, but it means something. We have ground, we have. Um, uh comp uh the comp mean again uh okay i can't even remember but i can't even see what it does but we have feedback voltage feedback and ss is ground normal ss is ground and but here it's not connected to ground it's been separated by a capacitor but then on the other, on the other side then it goes straight to to ground and then power ground and then SW switch and then we have power ground. Uh, yeah, bo mode uh, F sets enable power code voltage boost. Yeah, guys, it's a, it's common, it's common, it's common. Those are all the things that you should take notes of. Okay, and one more thing, this is so important. Uh, pin number 17 and 16, it's V in, and you should know how many volts should be there here on pin number 16 and 17 you will have five volts always as soon as soon as you connect the charger you should have those voltages there anyway uh yeah that's all all the chips guys they're almost the same always the same thing uh let's check this one okay let's check this one hmm yeah nc means no connection a power good by uh voltage feedback as ground not connection lx it's more like output i told you uh not connection uh pet is ground t pet is ground yeah guys that's all anyway yeah hope you are learning don't forget to subscribe. Shop shop.